Bill Walton died of cancer Monday at the age of 71. In his career, he won NBA championships with two different teams. He was a college star for UCLA in the early 70s, and before that, led Helix High in La Mesa to an undefeated season. San Diego sports writer Jay Paris says to Walton, it was all about the team. He was a rebounder. That's that's the dirty work in basketball because you got to get down there and fight. and You got to go with the elbows and you got to anticipate. And once he got that rebound, the quickness in which he would turn to look to get the fast break going. Who can I pass it to? Paris met Bill Walton in 1979 as a student reporter trying to snag an interview with a basketball star. He was just a kid, but Walton was kind and encouraging to him, and it was the start of a 45-year friendship. At the time, Walton was about to start playing for the San Diego Clippers. He loved uh, the Grateful Dead, but I think he even loved San Diego more. And for him to come home to play for the Clippers, to play in the sports arena, which still stands today, and have his families and friends there, it uh, it had to be one of the greatest feelings in his life. Jay says the lack of success of the Clippers, who would move to L.A., was a great disappointment to Walton. He was a man of great optimism. It's hard to find a photo of Walton where he didn't have a broad smile on his face, even though he suffered with years of pain. The only thing that could bring him down was his physical nature, was his body that was always breaking down. You know, 40 procedures, as he would call it, 40 operations on your body. You can imagine both your ankles are fused together. Uh, Lane, it's, uh, the back pain was so bad, he did contemplate suicide. That Those are his words. Surgery ultimately brought him relief from that pain. After his life as a player, Walton became a TV basketball analyst, famous for off-the-wall comments and flights of imagination. He once said of a player... John Stockton is one of the true marvels, not just of basketball or in America, but in the history of Western civilization. Here's another one. Yesterday, we celebrated Sir Isaac Newton's discovery of gravity. Today, Fabrizio Oberto is defying it. Like Paris said, Bill Walton was devoted to the Grateful Dead. When he thinks of Walton, he remembers a line from a Grateful Dead song. And there's a good line. You can find the light in the strangest of places if you look at it just right. That was the Grateful Dead, and that that was Bill Walton. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.